I right, got Muspelheim over here. Still getting used to the control. I'm, I'm gonna be blaming the controls for the entirety of my time playing this game. Interesting. Don't touch the ground. Defeat all enemies without touching the ground once. The bow is probably going to be my solution. I touched the ground. Unfortunate. We'll try that again. I'm trying to activate my stupid panther form. <laughs> I was running out of I was running out of platform there. We did all right. I'll take the silver. My health is doing absolutely fantastic. This is this kind of state that I want to be in with my health. Uh, can I make myself a healing? I have a I have a I have a healing thing. Cannot be used at this time. Well, well then. It's probably because I'm in Muspelheim. Well then. Interesting. We're in the cathedral. Is this the other half of the one that I found? Yes, it is. That looks like a scythe. It looks like a three-pronged scythe. Isn't there a Naruto character with a three-pronged scythe? Oh, well, we're under attack now. This, is, this feels like one of those hidden fights. Come on, I just got my health restored. This is stupid. Lost like all of the health. They gave me a little bit more to make up for it. Yeah, there's a bunch of fights it seems, and they're kind of tucked away in corners, so you have to like go into these corners to activate them, or else you'll just miss them. The bridge to the heavens should be right above us. Are you sure? <laughs> Not really. Not really, huh? But you're right. This is it. Call it a woman's intuition. <laughs> Women's intuition? What kind of silly comic book shit is that? You still don't know a thing about me. Let's just say I have plenty of experience with nothing coming to mind. What? I spent 500 years not knowing who I was. I only found out the truth recently. Y you too? Listen, I don't remember a thing. Nothing. I don't even know why I'm so damn sure I need to go to that mountain. But I know I have to. It's all I know. 
Does that make any sense? Come now, little one. Can't let the girls know you've got a heart. It's not like that. If that's all you know, that's all the sense you need. Just believe. That's what I did. Bayonetta. I like that. That Bayonetta hardly like talks much in like mid level. And that gave her more personality than I feel like she's expressed in a while. Like beyond just her like showboating and sass. See all enemies within the time given. Okay, I can do that. God, I hate these things. I hope that there's not another wave. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to trying that out in a real fight. I should make sure I use them before I lo lose it. I'll wait until I like a boss fight. What do we got here? Advanced technology. Sometimes we discover things from the past we find hard to believe. I have seen artifacts displaying a level of civilization that could not have existed in the time they are claimed to have been created. Ruins are found built with technology far too advanced for that of their era. Noatin is said to be one such place where this phenomenon occurs. Unsure of what I would find, I decided to investigate the Cathedral of Cascades. The cathedral stands in the middle of a lake, requiring me to take a boat to reach it. Its outer walls were in worse condition than I had expected, as debris blocked the entrance. I took a little improv improvisation to find a way inside. Surprisingly, the cathedral was in much better condition indoors, and I reached the center of the building in no time. It seemed to be the base of the tower in Noatin that almost scrapes the sky, created to be symbolic of the sacred mountain Fimbleventer. They say there used to be a path from the top of the tower that connected to the peak of the mountain. There was this strange sphere-like object sitting on the ground too. Could it have been the ancient elevator I heard the townspeople talking about? Curiously, there were no wires or anything attached to it. How is it supposed to take people up to the top? I don't see stairs either, so I assumed it was an elevator, but maybe I was wrong. Some of the things people come up with, seriously. Whatever it was, I want to figure it out eventually. I snapped a photo, so it, I'll, sh I'll show it to someone who might know a thing or two about it. Of course, only after I finish the rest of my investigation here. It probably requires magic. The power of magic. I think I remember this. Huh? Nice. And now he's the boss. That's Luca, isn't it? You again? Oh, hey, mouthy Brad kid. So, I see you're acquainted. How did you get here? I'm the great L U K A Luca. I didn't go through all these ridiculous ordeals to just randomly show up in opportune places, you know. See? Risking everything for nothing. Told you I knew someone just like that. So, what are you after this time? Oh, loads of stuff. For instance... I found this really great place for seafood. I do an amazing sardine meunier. But more importantly, I'm investigating an old Noah Toon story known as the Legend of Aesir. 
the legend of Aesir? And this fairy tale is... Actually, this might have something to do with you, Bayonetta. You don't say. The legend of Aesir. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Light, darkness, and chaos. Obviously, our world was the one born from chaos. The three worlds all needed rulers. Most of all, ours. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Aesir. Aesir spent the first eternity quietly looking upon the earth from his holy mountain. Where we only see reality and make it match our rules of the world, Aesir saw through reality, and those visions became our world. These observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will, so the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts, the right eye of light and the left eye of darkness. By dividing the power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gained free will. They could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Man is but a reed, the most feeble thing in nature, but now we were thinking reeds, and we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir had been granted the power of creation. The eyes? That's right. The eyes of the world. Controlled by a Lumen Sage and Umbra Witch. The eyes of the world? However, the influence of the right eye, the one controlled by the Sages, left this world forever with the death of the final Sage. natural disasters that are occurring right now have something to do with the loss of the right eye? And what will happen to our planet? Those are the truths I'm after. And the truth will always be the truth. So if the truth is here, then so am I. And I think the key to that truth is that mountain, Fimbleventer. How do you find these things? I've done my homework. Would you expect anything less from the marvelous, magnificent, magnanimous Luca? Nice. D Poor Luca. Bayonetta, get on. Oh, this is wonky. I didn't even know how I changed it to fire. I dropped my weapon. Easy enough.
Not so easy. Shit. We're not going to make it. Wow, way to just abandon me on the magical water ball. Playing as Luca now. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. It's L. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing to dodge that. Job, Luca. I'm proud of you. If I can just do something about that, come on. <sighs> nice. <laughs> Hi, Bayonetta. Oh, there's two of them. Figured I'd get the get the use out of the way. I don't know why the game's suddenly like freezing. I didn't, wasn't expecting. God, why is the game freezing? Take this fire guy out first. Got him. Got him. As I'm in the process of getting whacked around myself. Expecting like a stone, maybe a bronze if I'm lucky. Hey, we got a silver. Could have been worse. Got more verse cards. Still don't know what those are for. 
It's for tag climax mode, I guess.